You're watching TVC Breakfast. It's time to look at the papers now. Let's see what the headlines are in Nigeria. And I have with me in the studio uh, political technocrat Dr. Dio Kaudi, as well as social commentator Shijibomi Debi Bennett. Gentlemen, good morning and happy Monday. Yeah, good morning. morning. Compliments of the season. In fact, it's even, uh, it seems as if it's a season of awards. You TVC just got oh, in yeah, an award exactly. and I'm so, exactly. I'm so proud to be part of you. <laughs> Thank you. You greeted this guy to correlation of this award. Yes. Interestingly, I was also given an award over the weekend oh, too. Nice. So it's a season so of awards. Our award has just been going <laughs> from here and there. Hey, where's yeah. you now? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a Christmas, a Christmas week anyway, so mm -hmm. it's going to be a busy, busy time for everyone yeah. preparing one way or the other. You've been traveling all over the world. Yeah. Um, Traveling all over the place. And <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the world. So, okay, let's uh, begin with uh, the Daily Times newspaper now. Uh, Daily Times says um, Sam Nda Isaiah to be buried December 28. Uh, funeral obsequies begin on Wednesday. It's really uh, sad for the passing of uh, Sam Nda Isaiah. All right, that's. Uh, the Daily Times. Let's move now to the Nigerian News Direct. News Direct says uh, Buhari reopened borders to save private sector businesses. Investigation is revealing here and Basima lords president for reopening land borders. Okay, that's uh, News Direct. And from there we'll go to Daily, uh, Daily Trust. Daily Trust newspaper says uh, it's focusing on the second wave. Low testing as COVID-19 ravages states. And only 0.4% of Nigerians tested since uh, February. And test costs 50000 in private clinics. And, uh, NIPS DG dies. Uh, Niger, Niger speaker. More VIPs in isolation. Really troubling there. All right. Still a fallout from the COVID-19. From there, let's go to Leadership Newspaper. Leadership Newspaper says states adopt stiff measures to contain second wave of uh, COVID-19. Workers in Kaduna, Niger to work from home and Imo government bans gathering above 100 persons and uh, worshippers ignore protocols in River State. Okay. All right, let's go to the Punch newspaper now. Punch is talking about the same thing. States plan tough enforcement as new COVID-19 cases surge. Uh, Lagos says it can't afford fresh lockdown, begins 20,000 uh, fine enforcement Today, that's uh, Monday. So uh, if you're not supposed to be in certain places, don't be there. Anything can happen if you're caught. A 15 management staff undergo COVID-19 test today as NIPS Director General dies. Uh, really troubling. All right, that's uh, the Punch newspaper. The nation is next now. States take tough stands amid COVID-19 spike. Uh, 2,875 tests positive in 72 hours. A second wave, more deadly, NMA warns. All right, that's the Nation newspaper. The Sun newspaper <clears throat> is talking about something else. Army, police, fight over rescue of 84 students in Katsina. We rescued 39 students, as the soldiers are saying this. And no, no, we worked with vigilantes to rescue students, as the police is saying that. And federal government built settlement, uh, resettlement cities for IDPs in Katsina, Zanfara, Edu, and Borono State. Okay, we'll be talking about security issues, certainly, when we uh, open the discussions. Uh, the army and the police are trying to take credit for what's happening. Of course, the security agencies did all of those. All right, let's move on to the Guardian newspaper. Guardian says, confusion as airlines rush on capacity routes or routes. Uh, has routes. Confusion as airlines rush on capacity and routes. Passengers groan, decry a fair hike. Uh, a poor treatment. Operators blame poor weather, infrastructure at airports. Right. Okay, that's The Guardian. Now let's move to the Vanguard newspaper now. Vanguard says, five soldiers killed, 35 civilians abducted in two ISWAP attacks. A fresh bandit's attempt to kidnap another set of Katsina students followed. Uh, we've rescued 80 students and four others, police are saying. Four killed in southern Kaduna reprisal attacks as more troops are deployed to flashpoints. In high rate of kidnapping in Nigeria, worrisome Archbishop Kegama is saying this is part of the security challenges that uh, we are talking about. Okay, from there, let's go to the national economy. 
National Economy says linking 170 million subscribers, uh, subscriber lines with NIN in two weeks impossible. Telecom workers are saying this. Urge federal government to address bottlenecks in registration. Hmm. Okay, call that the government had given two weeks for everyone to link their uh, numbers with the NIN. Okay, that's the national economy. Then let's go to Blueprint newspaper now. Blueprint says bandits now targeting traditional rulers. An official is saying this is a kill three vigilantes attempting to foil Niger monarch's abduction. 84 Katsina Islamia students kidnapped and rescued reinforce capacity to protect Nigerians, APC, governors, take, uh, task police and army and others. Establish air force bases in, in border communities. The EU commends Buhari on Kankara students' uh, release and Buhari uh, capable of securing Nigeria. The presidency is saying that all that you see on the front page of the Blueprint newspaper. Let's go to Business Day now. Business Day says Vietnam gives Nigeria a refresher course on lifting millions out of poverty. Vietnam gives Nigeria a refresher course on lifting millions out of poverty. Remember, China has done that before, so uh, Vietnam done theirs, so Nigeria can do theirs. Okay, Daily Independent is the next one now. We've abandoned our manifesto. DGPGF tells APC leaders, we have abandoned our manifesto. Okay, that's uh, uh, party members talking to themselves. They are talking to each other. Daily, that's daily independence. Okay, those are some of the headlines we have this morning. But my gentlemen in the studio, uh, the story on the front page of the Vanguard as well as Daily Sun draws our attention to some of the realities that uh, we are seeing uh, across the country. And that has to do with uh, security. And in fact, Blueprint also uh, mentioned part of it as well. Now, government is working hard. Dr. Kaede, let me start with you on this. <clears throat> because no one is going to say government is not doing anything when it comes to uh, issues of security. Don't include me in that, no one. Uh, no, no, no. No one <laughs> is going to say government is not doing anything. Me, I will say. Oh, OK. But <laughs> whatever government is doing, whether it is translating to security, adequate security or not, is totally a different thing. But there's a meeting, there are meetings every day, there are, you know, trying to look at whatever is going on every day. So that's what, that's what I'm saying. No one will say government is not doing anything. But talk to us basically how challenging issues of security has been that day after day we hear of kidnapping, day after day we hear of killings and all of that, abductions. And that is exactly <clears throat> where I'm going, what I'm going to use mm -hmm. as the underpinning uh, analysis mm -hmm. of this issue today. Like you said, day after day, they have meetings, they do this, they buy equipment, and still, insecurity breaches still persist. I will go back to what I said sometimes as regards James Aliches. Novel, hand me a fig leaf. He said, hand me a fig leaf. And I will show you the alibi. Mm. All right? Another one that, that, that we now show us, we give a pointer to Ross is this. The sayings of uh, our former prime minister, uh, Tafa Balewa. He said, conscience is an open wound. Mm. Only the truth can heal it. Not until when we begin to say the truth, there is no amount of meetings as regards security or whatever that will solve this issue. Let us say, for instance, this Kankara scenario. If the president is traveling to Katsina, before then, at least two weeks, mm. They will assess security there of course. to be sniffing information, okay? Not only to that state, not only to Dara, but the whole of the states. Immediately he moves to that state. The headquarters of Nigerian security architecture will definitely move there. And still, you see some group of people. I will say group of people now, because we are not even sure whether they are real bandits, 
Real in quotes, bandits. Now, uh, are they, are they when they real are, and real I bandits? will tell you, that's where we're going. Okay. Now, when you adopt all those children, which route did you take? And people did not see you. Are you following me? And nobody ever, ever raised a finger. Okay? So, are we now saying, are we now saying, this is, this is where the fig leaf comes in now, that those security that are even there were there so that nobody will wink as regards that scenario? Are you with me? Let's leave that again. Within how many days, those guys were asked to come back. They were brought back. Okay? After being brought back, within 24 hours, we all saw the celebration that happened. Who, who was that tailor that sold those clothes within those period and fitted those guys? This is another ally. Okay? Now, where, where you are doing that, where are the parents? Where are also the parents of that guy? Is it not because, because all of us have been battering this particular government? They are not handling security the way they are supposed to. And then so that EU, that is now praising the government, can praise the government. And some other people can say, yes, you have now. But then look at, look at even the party, the party man, the party man that, that said in one of the papers now, said, look, we have gone away from the promises that we have given these people. All right. That, so that... All, all, those, all those things need to be put into perspective for us to be able to see mm. whether truly the security we are seeing, there is nothing like conspiracy theory there. Okay. All right. Let, let's uh, we we we'll put that in our uh, in our colo, and then we might come back to that sometime. Now, should you believe? You know, th because when we are analyzing all of these things, of course, people will see things from different perspectives, and you cannot wish anyone away. All of them, bring them on the table, and let's look at them and jiggle them out, so people can understand these things. Now, uh, should you believe? The point there is. Uh, government of Nigeria had ordered for 12 Super Tucano uh, aircrafts to be brought in from the United States. We're expecting them in 2021, all things being equal. And some government official at, the, at that time said that the moment those Super Tucanos come in, that will be the end of Boko Haram, that will be the end of uh, bandits, that will be the end of herdsmen, that will be the end of kidnapping, and all of that. So it means the Super Tucano might be the Alpha and the Omega for security in this country. We don't know that, but some of them have been made already. In fact, the companies have been test flying uh, some of the uh, Super well, Tucanos some that they have, us initially. They, they have made. Some came from the U.S. of recent. Well, the, the point, same Super Tucano. Uh, let, let's, so so what do you make of this now? <clears throat> Sometimes um, I'm amazed at what we get from um, Nigerians. The super Tucano you mentioned, you mentioned, I'm going to talk about that before I delve into other issues. It's not going to be the end of Boko Haram, but it will help us to facilitate the end of Boko Haram. Mm. I just finished watching a series, a true life story on ISIS, Black Crows. And um, you can kill the insurgents, but it's very difficult to kill the ideology. Yeah. There will be evolution. From Taliban, we got Al Qaeda. From Al Qaeda, we got ISIS. And don't forget the Hamas. It started from Hamas, Taliban. There will be evolution. Because these people, keep lying to themselves also about an ideology that does not exist. The people up there that get the benefits know what they are doing. Sometimes jihad is not what everybody sees as jihad. There are economic and pecuniary reasons for that. So there are so many things. And, but the average brainwashed fighter sees it from the point of religion. Some other people see it from the point of economy. Some other people see it from the point of ego pride or any other thing. Or even politics. Oh, yes, politics. Mm. So there's so many angles to it. The only challenge we have in Nigeria is we have allowed that little seed to grow into a full tree. We didn't kill it on time. 
So he's going to so, take. So is it late? Is it late to 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 cut down is, the tree or uproot it? If it's we have to. It's never too late, but the the effort mm. in taking out a small plant, a seedling. Can you compare it in, to the effort you use in cutting down the tree and taking out the root and the stump? So it's going to take a while. But those super tucanos will help. Ideology um, reorientation will help. So many other factors. That was why last week I said something about stakeholdership. Don't let us be partisan about this. Let everybody come together. Let's see how we can go about this issue. And I, I would like to take a departure from what Dr. Kanda Okawadi said. <laughs> Sometimes I, I, I just smile <laughs> because the challenge with us is the government is a representation of us. Mm. It, it okay. is. So everything we think... So government is just reflecting who we are as a that's people. It. Uh -huh. So the way we think, the way the distrust to ourselves and of ourselves is also represented. Is also a representation of how we think about the government. But beyond now, government, do you think Nigerians and citizens distrust themselves that much? Yes. Do you think so? Let me tell you why. In Nigeria, people, some people don't um, um, appreciate the value in value. Mm. Give value to get value back. Mm. People have this orientation that I have to cheat or extort you to be smarter to make it way. So that feeling, that distrust to one another, do business with anybody in Nigeria. You have to open your two eyes and even borrow some extra two eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are the things. So anytime, because I looked at the situation and I listened to a lot of people. You know, the, the, from, it's now from lamentation to complaint. So what do we want? Do we want the boys to be kept there? We were blaming the government at the time that that thing happened. And everybody was on the government. But immediately, there was a bit of solution. Things changed to, how can this happen? Mm. My point is... It, it seemed like there was, yeah, there was yeah, something, something fishy. Something. Yes. You're getting some things No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no hold on, Dr. Dr. Kaudi. Let me land. Land. So that we can. It's not about you. Mm. No. I've, I've listened to uh, people I respect personally, uh, like Obi Sekusili. Mm. I've listened to... Opposition, because I don't like to listen to opposition parties. They will all, always go their own path. The government lost credibility the, the, the moment that thing was done. Mm. So there is no credibility you can get from getting those, those boys back. The credibility you want to get, you could assume a government you could get, from getting recovering people that were abducted under your nose. It's nothing compared to what you have lost in allowing that thing to happen the first time. So let's forget about um, the only plus you can give this government in all these issues is the <coughs> swiftness. And when you are swift with anything, you will get results. You will quickly get results. You will, it, it happened in Dapchi. Mm. It happened now. The only time we were uh, laid back and lackadaisical and we were doing a kind of tabling was when we didn't get results. That was Chibok. Oh, but the other time in Yobe, when they just slaughtered those guys, nobody could do anything about it. Because as smart as you are, you can't be smarter sometimes than the person that is really laying ambush for you. Do you, do you remember what right. Fela said? That, that overtake, that, overtake, that, don't overtake, overtake. <laughs> there are some times you want to prove that you are smart. And that your smart, smartness yeah. but, will, but, now, but, will now that, overplay you. Yeah, but that, the point there is, the point there is, this issue of looking at it from the other perspective, yeah. too, is it likely that this thing happened the other way? Is it not just the academics of, let us see how we can jiggle no, this thing? No. Because one day, is, there, is, there is no evidence that this thing didn't happen the way it happened. The, is there so, other so, evidence that it happened the way it happened? No, but the, is there other evidence? So you see, the issue no, is but the government has, that's why I brought the, out. The, the, the story, that's why I brought the story, out. The story of how the boys were abducted and taken to... And then the police, to, the police were saying something. The, the state government was saying something else. The presidency was saying something else. And even all of them, they were saying different, different things about how these boys were brought back. And that's why I came up with that novel of James Ali Chase. All right. If 
Thank God you say you just finished watching uh, uh, a particular series. Most of us, when we, when we read novels, when we watch novels, all those things were not written or shown in abstract. These are things that are happening, all right? And I'm saying, not until when we start to say the truth in this country, we can't get to anywhere. Now, if people think so that are they can... You, are you saying the government is not being truthful with, the, with this whole as the, issue? As the government, Especially with as the the government ever been sincere to Nigerians in any way? Wow. Our economy, our economy, Dio, that, our, that's, our, that's, our security, our that security. Is, yeah. Listen, yeah. listen. Look at the exchange rates. There was a time the former, former governor of Central Bank came out and said all these things are fake. Former, former governor of Central Bank, that they are just making billion, uh, portfolio billionaires, that they just sit under the tree and do some calculations. All these things we are aware. Is that sincerity? And because and you, some people will go there, be changing at 22 Naira. Why they will come out and then be changing at 500 Naira? It's affecting you and I. Some people will sit down somewhere and be, and be propounding one theory that is not there. Meanwhile, that thing is benefiting them. Leaving you and I in penury, making sure that even when you are trying to build up your, your take-home package and all that, they put another thing there. Look at the petroleum prices. Is it real? No. Why is it not real? Why are you also importing fuel at this stage of our life? Where do you put uh, uh, modular refineries? All these all this so-called uh, illegal refineries. Where do you call them illegal? Are they not producing? Whatever is making them to be illegal, stop it legal, and they put all those factors there. No, but the point there These is, are the if, issues if, if, that is showing that government is not sincere with if, the people. If a refinery exists and you don't have approval of government, the take over, is illegal. take over the, take over the refinery. In as much as it is, it is producing, train those guys and then stop it legal because your whole refinery has become. Redundant. Yeah, but they make those ones. Let them produce but, but, the but that, that doesn't mean people should take the laws into their hands. I'm not saying they should take to laws to into their hands. hands. But what I'm saying is, why burning those refineries? Build them up. I mean, add one or two things there that will make it to be legal. Well, if you're if you're referring to those, those are the things that it, is it, not making them to be sincere to yeah. the people. If you're referring to those small holes within the forest, they do those things. They stand as risks to themselves. To you you, you had an agreement. You had an agreement with Asu. At the end of the day, you renege on that agreement. And Asu now decides, okay, I will go on strike. Is that not blackmail? You are not saying Asu is the Asu is that. Meanwhile, it is you in the first instance. Right. That is religion. All right. So now, where is that sincerity yeah, to yeah. the people? Okay. Now, Shiji Bumi, the point there is we've seen all of these issues back and forth. Uh, government, the people, opposition security agencies and all of that. But if we have to fashion a way forward, I, I wonder what you're looking at. You know, the sincerity we're looking at mm. and we're requesting doesn't need to come only from the government. The citizens also have a part to play. Um, yeah, but, but who directs Dr. and who yes, champions the, and who the, guides? The government and... has to lead. Mm. Dr. Dyer has mentioned so many examples. All these things are born out of the quest for, for money. Nigerians, um, let me use um, one, of the, one of my good brothers in the house, what say, that if you put a gun on the head of a Nigerian, yeah. in as much as he sees that he will make money there, he will still do the stuff. <laughs> so how do we now tackle this issue? Government will know. In some ways, they've been insincere. We, nobody can fault that. But what about Nigerians? I, I, I don't like to put myself in the spot. But this COVID-19 issue, I have people close to me that came in that circumvented every um, procedure. And when I talk to them, ah, you just came in from this country that has this high risk. What, what is it, not Nigeria? You guys will come go back and be saying, this is bad about Nigeria. You are coming in and doing the same thing. Yeah. Now, even but, again... But, but the point there is, but the point there is, as much as... See, theory, academic theories have proven that an average human being would always be animalistic. Yeah. It is the government 
that sets the the the, 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 the template yeah. for rules and, and regulation, as the case may be. You, the, this same person you yes. mentioned now will travel to the UK or the, to the United States and abide by all the regulations. Now, let me tell you where the government is getting it wrong, mm. because I don't want to digress from the, the main issue. The government has put people in those places. So if the government puts people in some places, the mm. government will not be there to... The government is you and I. Who are they putting? Yeah. Who but, are but, they but, putting? But, so, so, it, it, at the end it, of the day, yeah. rounding off, solutions are very, very important. Okay. So that we don't just... We have to round off now, yes. Yeah. So let's just have um, a, 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 a kind of bipartisan approach about all this, okay. especially security. Mm. When you get security right in any nation, in any society, mm. everything else... We'll be gotten right. Okay. Sorry, Michael. Mike, we, we don't have time it is anymore. All about, it we, is all about giving everybody a neighboring environment. Mm. Not that you will say you have you have closed borders and then you allow just two people to yeah. be operating that yeah. border. Okay. So other people will want to steal. All right. So a neighboring environment should be a, a, there should be a level playing mm. ground for fair, everybody fair, fairness, to exist. Fairness, 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 equity, justice. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Daniel Kaude, for your time on the program. We really appreciate you. My pleasure. Thank you. Shinji Bumi Adibi Bennett, thank you very much for coming. Thank as well. you for having me. Thank you.